Right, so what we'll do is we'll um, just take off all this, this glad wrap sealer stuff that they've got on top. Now it was uh, checked by security somewhere along the line. Now I must say the box is just a brown cardboard box, but um, it's not exactly, you might be able to hear that moving around in there. I would have really expected a, a, a better package. Um, maybe some uh, more plastic soft stuff in there. So let's just get in there. This is my uh, my first unboxing, so bear with me. Right, well they do have some padding, which is a good start. Um, though clearly not really enough, mainly because the box really is just, it just gives way. Um, it's a couple of manuals. Um, second generation grid tie with limiter. And this is the, um, the Sun 2000 G2. Uh, oh, we're out of focus. Sun, yeah, Sun 200, uh, 2000 G2. Um, so, looking at the manual, it's um, it's actually a pretty glossy coloured manual. So, that's quite surprising. Uh, I would have expected maybe a black and white one or something. But, no, that's that's quite good. Um, quality of the manuals, yeah, really good. Um, it comes with a normal 240 volt um, New Zealand and Australia power point, or power plug, um, with the normal... Um, I like to call it a kettle plug, but it's used for obviously um, computers and, and whatnot else. Um, what else have we got here? So this is our, um, our CT clamp. It's just a normal CT clamp by the look of it. Uh, I would be expecting this is a 100 amp one. Yes it is. So it's a 100 amp CT clamp. Um, that's... I'm not sure if that's going to show up. Um, and what they've done is they've actually just connected it because a normal CT clamp that you buy comes with a three and a half mil um, plug, like a headphone plug. Um, so they've actually cable, they've actually put some. It looked like they've cut that and thrown it on a, another cable and then heat uh, heat shrunk it. Um, and they did a pretty piss poor job at that, um, given that um, the wire moves out so if I come over to the camera a bit flick this around um, you'll see that the wire isn't the best in there it's kind of at the end of the heat shrink so obviously the heat shrink, the heat shrink should have come to about here um, which it is not um, but hey that's all right um, I suppose that's what you get for um, these Chinese products. Um, so it also comes with this funky donkey connector. Um, I can't remember what this is actually called, but I did purchase another one so that I can um, extend this without having to cut this in half. Um, but given that it's half already in half, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Um, but that's so that's that. Um, let's have a look at the actual inverter itself. So, well, these side paddings are actually made. Oops, flip the camera unit back around. These side um, things are actually made for this, the same dimension. So that's one good thing, I guess. A um, couple of ones, the top and bottom. Um, let's get the box out of the way. Let's get rid of this other doodacky glass so I can't throw that around. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this. So the top unit there has got um, AC out obviously um, with its two fans. These look like 60 mil fans, um, not 80 mil. I was thinking that they might be 80 mil but they're not. Um, underneath is, is a full uh, heatsink. Um, looks like an aluminium heat sink by the look of that. Um, looks like it says it's passed, which is good. Um, 
the top cover, obviously you've got your, your buttons there and they feel pretty pretty normal as you'd expect. Um, it does have a bit of a protective thing over the top of that which is good, it actually, yeah, it actually sits this way doesn't it? Or does it sit that way? Huh, it sits this way by the look of it, looking at the picture of the little house there. Um, which is a bit interesting, I thought the AC would be at the top. Um, okay, so the DC um, end, um, we've got obviously our internal and our external um, CT clamps. Um, the internal one's already built in, so this is just the external one. Um, it looks like it had a uh, maybe a CAD bus connection or a, an RS-485, whatever that is. Um, I thought that would be some kind of CAD bus. I'll just put this on something. So I dent the table. That's a wooden table. Um, and yeah, so it's okay. So yeah, the internal one. Obviously, you've got a plug. Still, you've got to plug in your CT clamp. Um, but it's obviously internal, um, the internal circuitry for this. There's the, the old, the other model, the old model, the G1 of this um, has a oops, not work, has a um, external box that has the CT plug into it. Um, that CT then plugs into an inverter like this, and the other box is um, does all the um, the calculations for how much load this one needs to put out. So um, this has got that built in, which is really handy. So you, all you need is pretty much just the CT clamp plugged into the the internal one. Um, you can still have an external um, box unit. Um, now the external box unit is used mainly um, if your switchboard is a long distance from your um, grid tie inverter, or if um, you're using an old grid tie inverter, not this one here not the GE2. So, all in all, um, there's no marks on it, there's no scratches, it looks like it's fairly good. Um, I reckon the next thing we should do is um, we should plug it in and see what happens. So let me, um, I'll cut the camera, I'll just get a plug to do that and we'll, we'll turn it on and see what happens. I hope it doesn't go bang. Right, so just before I actually plug it in, um, the cable that it comes with is not too bad actually. Um, it says on the on the um, cable and printed um, that it's um, 240 volt to 300 and something volt um, ordinary duty. Um, but the it, it looks like a normal um, plug that we would get in New Zealand, um, and I'm sure the same as in Australia. It's a 10 amp plug. Um, to be honest, I'm actually happy that it's not something cheap and nasty and really thin and and nasty. So. Yeah, no, that's actually quite good. Um, anyway, let's plug it in. Right, so I've got it plugged in, and I'm just having a look at the manual here, and um, peak efficiency um, is 92%, which uh, all in all isn't too bad. I'll just bring you back into focus. Um, and again, this is um, 45 volts to 90 volts, um, and it's... Um, 50 60 hertz which is good um, and obviously 240 volts this is what the other models um, are like um, the other model I was actually looking at was the, uh, the the 1000 watt one but as you see the efficiencies are almost exactly the same um, but you know for what I need 2000 watts is definitely recommended um, what I'm just looking at quickly now as I flick through some of these pages is double check do I need to plug the DC in first or do I plug the AC in first? Um, normally for a good time inverter you turn, if you're shutting it down, you turn off the AC then the DC as a shutdown procedure. So let's just quickly check the, the things before I plug it in. Do not. Right, so before I turn things back on again, um, I read through the manual and it doesn't say exactly which order to turn things on. Um, but also having um, a grid time inverter, or the, the big grid time inverter for my main solar, um, I kind of know the order that things need to be plugged into. But one thing it does say, and this is the same for all grid time inverters, is um, 
one thing and there we go back in focus uh, never disconnect the dis never disconnect the DC wire under load so um, that's one very important thing so if you're doing a shutdown always disconnect the AC first and then the DC um, something that that's the one little point to kind of remember um, so it doesn't really say exactly which order to, to plug it in and turn it on um, so let's just plug the AC in and turn it on so let's do that and I'll just zoom back out and back into there right powers on right well that was kind of instant screen on just move the camera around so it's dead quiet no fans going at all um, no electric shocks which is good to, to feel um, okay so what do we have on the screen um, I'll just bring the camera back around one more time to there over the power cable and back into focus Go. right so the first thing it's saying is starting voltage too low so obviously it's not going to put um, it's not to start up um, in active mode or whatever mode it's called until um, we plug in some DC um, which right now on the table I don't have in the kitchen so um, but what do we have here so we have a home button um, we've got some other notification things there version 5 um, okay so let's press the okay so that button doesn't do much what about this button okay so the home button does this power view I'm guessing that's the select button nope so that's that I'm guessing that goes back and forwards power view one of these has to be the enter key I'm sure okay uh, grid waveform Ah, so the top button is the enter key effectively um, okay so it's showing us our grid waveform I wonder how often this is updated um, 50 Hertz shows our voltage down the bottom there that you probably can't read no you can't um, so okay that's very interesting um, so what we got here set menu date settings energy menu let's have a look at that so we can't look at the energy menu for some reason well, yes we can so the energy menu pretty much shows us what we what we've done today it's got our um, 2000 watts is up here and zeros down the bottom and this is set in a time period just in case you can't see it so let's click back on the home button um, the set menu right so this is when we this is how we turn on the limiting um, function um, and I might just zoom that in slightly more okay. okay so right now it's not on limit um, backlight is enabled so these bottom functions that are to do with the battery voltage of bits and pieces isn't functional as part of this um, this unit now I do I did know that I think they were putting it in here for um, maybe next the next revisions but it's it's not part of this revision um, so that what you've got is you've pretty much got the limit you can either ch choose it to either say that it has a limit um, or it doesn't it doesn't use the limiter in which case whatever power you plug in with the solar panels or with batteries it will just try and turn that into as much AC power as possible it won't try and limit them um, so what we can do now is we should be able to just select that and now these other two functions so I get to choose the external limiter or the internal limiter so um, so if I go internal limiter and it's got a tick on it okay and I guess I press home after that save these settings yes um, now did that save it or not yeah okay it looks like it did save it so yeah, so it's definitely a slip button. Okay, um, what else we got here? Set menu, so we've been there. Um, date menu, pretty... Okay, so we've... Just as I suspected, we don't have too much other controls over it. Um, it's not gonna... We don't really need to do anything else 
Um, so there, obviously this with these grid tie units you can't, um, there's not many other settings you can set apart from, apart from to, um, how do I get back out of that, there we go, um, apart from just turn the limiter on and off. Um, it's not a hybrid uh, system and it's not an off-grid system, obviously off-grid would, you would have a heck of a lot more um, control over um, the output but uh, with this it's it's fairly um, um, well it's it's fairly simple in that in that regards whatever DC you put in um, you get AC out